Hi everyone! In today's video I am going to talk about long-haired guinea pigs, what it is like to own one and how to trim their luscious locks. So this is Lyra, my long-haired piggy, also known as a furry potato, and I'm going to show you how I trim her hair back. Keep watching to see the transformation at the end of the video after we've cut off this much hair. So you probably already know, but just like other pets, guinea pigs come in different breeds and some of them have long hair. For example, Lyra is a Lunkaya piggy, so she has long wavy hair and rosettes, meaning it just comes off in totally different directions. But there are other long haired guinea pig breeds such as Shelties, Peruvians, Coronets and Texels. So what is the deal with long-haired piggies? Well, they are undeniably adorable. Lots of people really like the look of them. They come in all sorts of different colours and their hairstyles can be different from silky and smooth to curly to just plain insane. The downside to this long hair is that they do require extra care and grooming compared with their short-haired friends. This extra grooming is necessary because left alone, the hair of long-haired piggies will become very long, tangled and matted. Naturally, guinea pigs don't have long hair in the wild, so they aren't especially good at looking after it themselves. Big knotted mats of hair will become very uncomfortable and potentially painful, and increase the risk of skin problems and other health issues. Guinea pig rescues can receive guinea pigs in terrible condition due to a lack of grooming. If you're not sure that you can commit to this extra grooming, or if you're really inexperienced with pets or guinea pigs, then I would consider short-haired breeds before you get a long-haired piggy. There are short-haired breeds that still have funky hair, if that's what you've got your heart set on. Abyssinians like Willow here are a great example. They have rosettes all over their body, which spend their hair spiralling in all sorts of different directions. There's also piggies with crests, ridgeback pigs, and teddy or rex piggies with awesome dense fuzzy hair. Or if you want to go completely the other way, there are even hairless guinea pigs. So this grooming can be brushing or combing the hair, trimming the hair and giving baths, but keeping the hair trimmed back, particularly in certain places, is the most important part of grooming your long haired piggy. It keeps them comfortable, stops them getting too dirty and prevents them overheating in very warm weather. Giving them baths can also help and I do have some previous videos on bath time with the piggies so if you want to check those out, I'll post the most recent one in the cards above now. It will vary from one guinea pig to another, but in general, I would suggest you trim the hair every one to two months, more often if it grows back very fast, or if you notice signs that your guinea pig is uncomfortable, hot, and perhaps getting a bit smelly or wet underneath. So to trim the hair, you can use scissors. I prefer to use these normal small size scissors so I can be more precise. If you are inexperienced, perhaps use those school style safety scissors. Some people also do this with a shaver or electric clippers. So here she is. But before you dive right in with trimming the hair, be prepared for your piggy to wriggle, try and get away, and generally make things as difficult as possible for you. Consider having some vegetables or fresh grass on hand to distract them. Also, I find that taking them into a different room with unfamiliar surroundings away from the cage also works to stop any fidgeting. Also, it's handy to have a bin or somewhere to put the trimmings and a towel or pad to put your guinea pig on. You can put them on a table in front of you or if you have them in your lap, try both and find out what works best for you. So you can see that along the top and down the sides, I'm only holding on to very small bits of hair at a time and carefully cutting with the scissors, really not taking that much length off at all. I'm also cutting off any straggly bits that kind of look to be too long once I've done this. Along the sides closer to her skin, I'm not holding or pulling onto the hair with my hand. Rather than that, I'm securing her with my hand on top of her body so she can't move away as easily and I'm just letting the hair fall loose. And again, I'm only cutting off a very small amount at a time with the scissors. Cutting the hair short around the bottom is the trickiest part of this and it might be easier for you to hold your guinea pig on your lap whilst you lift up the other hair with your other hand. Again, don't pull on the hair you're about to cut, just let it fall loose with the scissors. 
If it looks like I'm getting really close here, then don't worry, you don't have to go as close to the skin as I am. But you do get a feel for it as you're doing it, and I'm very confident I'm not going to cut Lyra here. However, if you're not as confident, then don't cut it as short and just cut it more often. <laughs> Sorry, piggy. So here I'm just showing you how short I have cut it around her bottom. And it is short, but you can't tell to look at her normally because there's still longer hair on top. So she still looks like a long haired piggy. Once you've got to this stage, you might just want to take an extra bit of length off the sides and around the bum just to help that short hair blend in a bit better and cut off any longer straggly bits that you might have missed earlier on. I'm basically just trying to get her looking a bit neater here. <laughs> And around the front and the sides, I'm just layering the cut a bit so it doesn't look like such an abrupt end to the hair. And then we're finishing the whole thing off with a little comb just to make her look super neat and tidy. And that's Lyra all done. So you can see how much hair I cut off at the side of her here. And I hope you'll agree that she looks like she's had a nice, neat, tidy cut. It's quite short, but that's partly because we're coming into summer in the UK here and the guinea pig's room does get rather warm, so I don't want her feeling too hot with her longer coat. Just before we finish this video, I want to run through my top five tips for trimming your long-haired guinea pig's hair. And they are, number one, keep the hair shortest around the bum, as close to the skin as possible. Number two, for skittish pigs, consider taking them into a different room away from their cage mates and distracting them with tasty treats such as vegetables. Number three, if they really hate it and are really skittish, try not to pull on the hair at all. And maybe if scissors aren't working for you, try something like electric clippers instead. Number four, don't forget grooming them is a great opportunity to check over the skin in general and make sure everything looks normal. Number five, when you're cutting the hair, cut it in small sections and try and layer it slightly so it doesn't look like you've given them the haircut from hell. I stand by the fact that guinea pigs make awesome pets and my videos are all about guinea pig care, housing, grooming, behaviours, feeding, fun stuff and so much more. So if you enjoyed this video, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button and hitting the bell if you want to be notified of future videos. But for now, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!